Welcome to I Am Best Reviews YouTube channel. We're happy you stopped by to take a look at our new video. Today we're going to discuss tools for your online or offline business. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Step 1. Research tools. Research, study, and plan your subject matter or niche and the keywords to use. Google Trends will help you see the latest trends, the data, in any category you want to explore. You'll find out what's trending in your area and other areas right now. Google Keyword Planner is similar to Google Trends, but you'll be able to see the number of competition for keywords or ideas you have. You can find out whether it's worth your time and effort to begin work in a certain niche or interest. Perhaps you have your own business or manage a business. App Annie is for you. You'll discover, strategize, engage, and monetize in order to stay ahead of your competition. Step two, content creation tools. Okay, you've picked out your niche and now you need some content for others to find and read. Feedly will help you illustrate, organize the content you need to accelerate your research, marketing, and sales. ZEMrush will assess your whole website's content. You can check out the statistics on the content you publish. Yoast is a great plugin for WordPress that I love. You'll receive tips weekly on how to optimize the SEO on your website. Of course, it's true that Yoast will help you write SEO perfect content and will make Google and your readers pleased also. Step three, visual design tools. You've chosen your niche, checked your keywords, you've written your content, something's missing. You need something that'll make your website pop. Canva will help you create lovely pictures. You can customize your photos with your colors, fonts, and logos with the templates that Canva has available for you. With PicMonkey, you can edit your photos, touch them up, design logos, and put your pictures into a collage. You can even fix a portrait on the go with the PicMonkey mobile app. Be Funky is an online design tool it can be used as a collage maker, a photo editor, and a graphic design tool. The Be Funky website has training videos for you to learn how to use its tools with ideas so you can create your own designs and edit your photos like a professional. Step 4. Autoresponders. You have your niche, checked your keywords, wrote your content, have designs on your site. Now you need an autoresponder to capture your leads from people or businesses you advertise to. Here's a couple that I use. Get Response is a list building program and it's a com comprehensive email marketing course that covers everything you need to grow your list. Aweber is an email automation tool with templates and more. It has industry leading deliverability and it also has mobile apps. Step five, advertising tools. Good for you, you've picked your niche, written your content, perked up your content with pictures, set up your autoresponder. Now you need to start advertising your products. If you plan on doing a lot of online or offline marketing, Google AdWords is a must for you to learn to use. If you want to become a pro, you can take the Google Partner Certification Program. With these two tools, it'll aid you in advertising your needs for a business of any type. Bing Ads is a great way to advertise your product and get people to your squeeze page or website. It's a Microsoft tool that's similar to AdWords, but it's an underused channel for advertising. Step six, landing page builders. Wow, you've gotten a bit lot done. You discovered your niche, wrote your content, spruced up your content with pictures. You have an autoresponder, you've set up your advertising. Now you need landing pages to capture the emails of potential customers who click on your link and your advertisements and visit your website. ClickFunnels is a popular sales funnel tool which makes it easier for marketers and all types of businesses. You can choose and pick the funnels to fit your business or your client's needs. Optimize Press is what I use. It's a marketing site creation made easy. It's a way to create high converting landing pages, sales pages, and membership port portals. InstaBuilder 2.0 is a must have plugin. With the InstaBuilder plugin, you'll have complete control over your sales funnel. Step seven, analytical tools. The Google Data Studio, your info into instructional dashboards and easy to read reports. With Google Data Studio, you can scoop all your studies together. It has pre-built links. No need to use code to use this tool. With Sumo Me, you'll be able to find out how your readers enjoyed your site. You can make changes to your site to attract and please more visitors. You'll be able to see where your visitors clicked on your website, where they started and stopped reading your content. 
Step eight, social media marketing. You've gotten a system up and running now, but here's a couple more tools to help you in your business. Edgar can create updates for you using RSS feeds from your favorite sites. Edgar posts your new updates and recycles older ones when you run out of those content. And your audience only gets bigger. With Hootsuite, you, it's the best way to manage social media. You can manage it from one place. You can reply with a single click. You can track performance and grow your audience with Hootsuite. Step nine, project management. Your system's up and running and your website content looks great. People are finding your products, they're buying. Here are a couple more tools to aid you in your business. If you're working in a team with a company or another business with Confluence, create, share, and collaborate on all your projects all in one place. Publish, organize, and get access to company info in one location. Capture and store your team's work so you can stay up to date and on the same page. When your team needs to kick off a project, measure A-B tests, plan your next office opening, and more, Slack has you covered. It's an essential tool. Slack helps scaling and helps the team to feel connected, even with remote offices and offices that are outside of your country. We hope you've enjoyed our videos showing you a few tools that you can use in your business. You will find links below the video that will take you to the website page of each tool. You can look them over and see which ones you think you would like to use. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again soon.